someone who is an incredible person of trainer in Trinidad, so I'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Dwayne Hines. I'm a retired professional mixed martial artist and now a personal trainer. And he is going to be showing us how to work out in the gym to prepare for the marathon. Alright, so when you prepare for a marathon, uh, on top of your cardio training, you also want to do some strength and conditioning training. So your muscles, uh, you have muscles to endure the distance and to push through. Alright, so the three exercises I'm going to show you today uh, is going to be the squat, uh, to work out the quads, to show calf raises, to work out the calves, and do some hamstring curls to work out the hamstrings. Alright? Let's go! Alright, so first exercise we have is the squat. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have a bare squat, it's one of my favorite machines because the angle you get, it's very low, pre uh, uh, not, very, not much pressure in the knees. All right, it saves the joints, so the angle of it is really good. Uh, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of running, you want to save that uh, pressure on the knees for the running. All right, so it's one of my favorite uh, squat machines. So come up, come up, get out. Now you're going to go as low as you can. Oh, wow. Alright, I'll recommend doing four sets of 8 to 15 reps, depending on where you're at in your training program, uh, at least two to three times a week uh, for maximum results. Uh, the second exercise I'll show you is calf raises. Uh, you can do calf raises, there's various ways to do it. One of my favorite ways is on the leg press machine. Right, so you come up, you take your toes at the end, so your heels are off. And then we're going to drive up and down. Seems like a real simple exercise, but I like to hit this quite day slow, quite day fast, for four to five sets. I also change the angle of my toes for each set. So first set, I'll go straight. The second set, I'll bring my toes in. The third set, I'll put my toes out. The fourth set, I'll, I'll come up, and I'll work a reverse calf raise to work the front. Right. Again, if you're going to be running a marathon, you put in that kind of distance, that kind of miles, it's really important to have strong calves. Finally, last exercise I'll show you. Again, this is uh, been in the gym. People have been doing these for since the beginning of training, I think. Hamstring curls. But even though it's been around forever, it's still one of the most neglected muscle groups, I think. Uh, everybody chooses to squat. Uh, they um, deadlift, they refuse, uh, they, they just don't like to work their housings. Alright, but it's a real simple exercise. Lay down, knees off the bench. And you're going to bring your heels to your butt. No. Again, I've got three to four sets, eight to 15 reps, depending on where you're at in your training program. Three to four, two to three times a week for maximum results. Again, on this house, you're cool too. You can hit it from a different angle. I hit it straight, I also hit it. I'm going down. You put yourself on a decline. That way it isolates the hamstrings. You can't get that rock, so you don't be jerking. So it's completely isolated the hamstrings. Yeah. Just start slow uh, and then gradually increase the reps and the weight as you go. So go with a medium weight, something that challenges you a little bit. Don't go too heavy. Uh, start off with about eight reps, three sets, three to four sets of those three exercises. And the following week, up to 10 reps. The following week, go up to 12 reps. The following week, go up to 15 reps. And keep that 15 reps for the rest of the duration of your team. Okay. Thank you. Uh, also, nutrition is really important. Uh, if you're going to be running a marathon, I highly recommend the week of the marathon that you carve up. Okay. Lots and lots of carbs. Let's see two to three days before, at night, and lots of carbs. Because you're going to need that extra energy. When your tank goes empty, your body's going to uh, rely on the uh, glycolytic -like system. And it's going to need the carbs to keep you going. Okay, thank you. That's been so helpful. Alright, good luck. Thank you. Oh,